New at 11 tonight, a Duval County 12 year old is on the mend after a COVID diagnosis last month. At first, his parents were unsure why he wasn't feeling well and a trip to the emergency room would keep him in the hospital for a week. On your side's Robert Bradfield reports on the message his mother has for everyone, including those who say COVID doesn't affect kids. He was an athlete, a star performer, but late last month, 12 year old Brian Henderson's passion for baseball had to take a back seat for something else that became a new priority. His heart rate was very low. His blood pressure was very, very low. His mother, Alonda, says what started out as a stomach ache quickly progressed to swollen eyes, loss of appetite, and bloodshot eyes. It was at Wolfson Children's Hospital Brian received a COVID 19 diagnosis. Go from his healthy, active, kid that that smiles all the time to a kid who's limited on what he can do right now. During his seven day hospital stay, Alonda found herself thinking about the what ifs. According to the hospital, two children died there while Brian was a patient. That was my worst fear is that Oh my God, now he's going to be next. She says her family was initially hesitant to get the vaccine, despite reports from the CDC, which shows African Americans are nearly three times likely to become hospitalized with COVID and two times more likely to die. Alonda is sharing Brian's story to educate others. I wish I had seen this story before prior to my case. It might have changed my mind about vaccination when he first turned 12. Brian also had the MIS-C illness or multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, leaving him with an inflamed heart. Alonda says her family will now be getting the vaccine and urges you to do the same to possibly prevent others from ending up with a broken heart. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.